Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer that I got in my very first ever uh, LCBO home delivery order. This is from Black Bellows Brewing Company, which is a contract brewery in the Toronto area. This is the Black Bellows White. Now, Black Bellows White is 5% alcohol by volume. Um, what do we have over here? We have... Black Bellows Brewing Company, Collingwood, Ontario. Okay. Hmm. See, I said Toronto because I was on the uh, Mom and Hops directory, and it said it was a contract brewery out of Toronto. But it might be, uh, it might be brewing in Collingwood. Or it might be that it's being brewed in Toronto and they're based in Collingwood. So because this is the thing with contract breweries. They usually have two locations. They have the location they're brewing at. And they have the location that they actually are based in. Over here we have congratulations. You have just picked up Black Bellows uh, White. Our, tr our modern take on traditional Belgian wit. Unfiltered and citrusy with a hint of elderflower. It's light, refreshing, enjoy with... Uh, with food and friends. Well, I'm enjoying with neither. Now, one thing I did notice uh, from the LCBO sheet that I didn't notice when I uh, was doing my video on it. I did a 13-minute video. I wish I had just read everything, but right here. Thank you for shipping shopping at the LCBO.com. Please retain this receipt for product returns. Okay. By signing for this order for our third-party courier, well, from our third-party courier, you acknowledge that the order was checked and received in good condition. Right there is what I, I'm weirded out by. So there is a lot of glass and stuff in this, unless it's broken so much that it's leaking through by now, but since they use so much peanuts and they use the, uh, they use the really soft peanuts that stick to your hands that would soak up a lot of liquid, you have no idea until you get into there whether or not everything is in good condition. And I can tell you right now, the Canada Post lady ain't set sitting at my door while I open it to make sure that everything is in the box and that uh, nothing's wrong with it. She's dropping, getting my signature, and running the fuck out of there. That's what she's doing. Now, actually, my wife picked up today. I don't even know if she signed for it or I need it, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to have to check online later uh, because it is a mandatory signature and a mandatory uh, identification, according to the LCBO. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm surprised she even came up to the door with it, to be honest. Uh, uh, when it's stuff like that, she usually just gives me my my hanger and I have to go to the uh, go to the post office and pick it up myself. But yeah, so my only real complaint about that is, uh, is just that, you know, by signing you're acknowledging that everything is good and you've checked the box. Well, again, this isn't like a commercial shipment where they sit there and you open the box and look in it and make sure nothing's broken and this and that. And even then, a lot of commercial businesses don't do that. But I, I, I have a feeling that that if something was broken and I contacted the LCBO to say it was broken, that I would get um, the, oh, well, you signed for it argument. And I think I might try that. The next time I order something, I might actually call them and just see what they say. I might do it on my I'm on my actual cell phone while we unbox and see what they say about it. If they say, just bring the item in, well, that's great, we know now. And if they say, well, you signed for it, well, then we also know. Anyway, beer. It looks like a wheat. Can't see anything through it. Looks great. Looks great. Beautiful white head. This is a very good-looking beer. Smell? A little saison in that uh, it has that that just cereal green weediness. It has a little bit of that banana. It has a lot of citrus, but not just uh, not just orange. It almost has a little bit of lemon in there too. A little bit of dirtiness. A little a little bit of uh, a little bit of cloves. Like th this has a lot more notes to it than just a normal white does. Um, and again, I, I've never really seen a contract brewery that has its own caps, so that's that's awesome to me, other than maybe Spearhead. Uh, cheers, let's try this. Most of them, most of them can. Hmm. 
Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Like, it's no... It's no, um, side launch wheat for me. But that's very nice. Um, again, uh, a lot of what you expect in a wheat, but a lot of interesting flavors, too. I mean, much, much, much more citrusy than, uh, than a normal wheat would be. I mean, you normally would get orange flavors. This has kind of like an orange juice flavor, an orange peel flavor, a grapefruit flavor. Uh, both juice and peel. A little bit of like a lemon rind in the very, very back. Um, very nice, very refreshing. I just want to see what the price was on this guy. Where are we here? Black Bellows White. Four dollars. Okay, so, um, I mean, four dollars isn't a bad price. Um, I did buy a can, which is just slightly smaller, of white from uh, Waterfront White, which was 285. So, if that's anywhere near as good, that would be more what I would go with. That's more what I would expect for just a white. However, this is a glass bottle, not a can, which is why you get the bigger price. Uh, yeah, it's a good beer. And it's under four dollars, so it's a it's a pint for less than a pint would be it, it's less than a pint of macro would be at most bars. So I mean, that's a nice beer. Lemony, earthy and floral on the back end. A little hoppier than I'd expect in a wheat, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's a nice beer. Yeah, I quite enjoy that, to be honest with you. Out of 10 on that? That's a 7.5 for sure. Uh, that is a nice white. So, Black Bellows White. 7.5 out of 10. First beer out of my case that I bought. And it's a good one. Thank you, guys. Au revoir. I'll be on toast. See you soon. Cheers. <sighs> Bye.